Defend yourself against DDoS attacks by hiding your true IP address with ExpressVPN. And visit my custom link expressvpn.com slash gillymaster in the description to find out how you can get an extra 3 months free. These changes include an increased cell mission timer to make it easier for solo players taking on a biker and gun running sales, snacks automatically replenishing when launching most missions, buffing defensive and armor capabilities for the Sparrow and Bambushka, and more. Boy is that the biggest crock of shit that I've ever seen. The Bambushka buff is useless. Absolutely horrible. I really have no idea what they were thinking when they cooked this one up. Either this was the laziest job of balancing and the devs just simply do not care about it at all, or they are entirely clueless, one or the other. Because I find it very hard to believe that a competent person would think that what I'm about to show you would be an okay rebalance for this plane. So let's go over the Bambushka's armor before the buff real quick. Before the update, it went down in 1-2 to RPGs. It would get disabled in 1-2, to two, and then on the third one, it would be completely destroyed. Same with hoeing missiles, it goes down in 3. 6 railgun shots, or 7 explosive rounds. Which for something as slow and big as the Bambushka, you would think, huh, yeah, that's not exactly good, maybe we should buff that up. And then we get to the buff stats, 7 years later, mind you, 7 years later they finally decide to do a buff, and these are the stats. Instead of 3 RPGs, it now takes 4 RPGs to destroy. Instead of 3 homie rockets, it now takes 4 homie rockets to destroy. It can take 2 more railgun shots than before, now blowing up in 8 instead of 6. And with explosive sniper rounds, it's dead after 8, but blows up in 10. So basically, it's just one more explosive impact that it can survive than before. Can anyone tell me just what the fuck tanking one more rocket is going to do for this plane? Seriously, what is it gonna do? If you're getting harassed by a vehicle that can spam homing rockets, it doesn't matter if you can tank 3 or 4, you're fucking dead, you're getting hit by like 8. In fact, the falling Bambushka corpse after it's blown up is gonna continue to get railed by missiles as it's falling from the sky, that's how bad it is. And do you want to know what the worst part is? If you even get hit by one railgun shot, just one, is all it takes from a 100% healthy aircraft. That's enough to completely take out one engine because of the way the damage works in this game with aircraft taking constant damage when the engines start smoking from taking damage. So you take one shot and one side of the engines goes down. And then if you take another, well, guess what? The plane is dead a minute later. Two railgun shots within a minute's time will destroy it post buff. How does it make any sense that the fucking RC tank takes more of a beating than the Bambushka does after the buff? It's an RC car. The Bambushka is like 20 times its size, if not more. I was expecting the buff to be underwhelming, don't get me wrong, but this is, no joke, the smallest amount of a buff they could possibly do. And they label it as a 50% buff to its armor. Yeah, 50% of dog shit is still gonna be dog shit, sorry to tell you that. It needed to be buffed by at least 500%, if anything. Taking one more rocket is not gonna help you at all. Congrats, you're gonna survive a whole half a second longer than you would otherwise. And it's especially worse when the gunners can't even fucking shoot back at them because they didn't fix those either. The gun cameras are still screwed up to where you can't shoot when you aim the camera. It's only in this very specific center point where you can shoot the guns. If they would have at least fixed the cameras, then maybe, just maybe, could I see this being possibly decent with this buff. But this is just a complete joke. It's like they didn't even try. And in case you're wondering, no, you still can't store vehicles in the back. There's still the same invisible wall blocking you from having fun with your purchased aircraft. It's fucking sad, man. Don't buy this piece of shit. The hope is gone. It's just never going to be a viable aircraft in GT Line. I, you know, I never knew it would be such a difficult concept to grasp that a big ass fucking plane that goes 20 miles an hour, one of the biggest, slowest pieces of shit planes in the game, should be able to take a ton of hits. How is it a hard concept to grasp? But, you know, I should just expect mediocrity at this point. If you guys enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more GT Online content. But the next video will be going over the Sparrow buff, which isn't as bad because the Sparrow was already good to begin with, but it still kind of just makes you wonder what the hell they're thinking. I also want to give a huge shout out to all my channel members for your support. If you'd like to become a member for some exclusive perks, you can now use the join button or the link that's down in the description. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.